Jimmy, a sad, sad day for Sunderland Football Club. What are your thoughts on the passing of Martin Phillip? Yeah, very, very sad day, you know. And I'd just like to say on behalf of myself and the football club, uh, the plus our condolences onto his family, you know. And, you know, it was a tremendous shock this morning when uh, when the club phoned me up and, and told me of his demise. And, um, you know, 32 years of age, you know, it just doesn't bear thinking about. And, you know, I remember Martin from uh, 19, you know, 06, uh, 2006 and 2007. Uh, I think he played the last game of that promotion season uh, where to, I think it was Luton, won 5-0. Um, his first game he played in the Premiership uh, was against Newcastle and we beat Newcastle as well. So, fun memories, great memories on that particular side. Um, and of the man himself, just genuine, lovely, lovely man, you know. And, you know, I dealt with him quite a bit when we were doing the, when I was doing the former place table. Um, and when he wasn't playing or injured, or you know, he used to come around the rooms with us and speak to the fans. And just absolutely brilliant. And obviously, a big loss to football, and just in general, you know, absolutely. like you mentioned, yeah, yeah. at I such a young age. You know, he did. You know, he'd been to Manchester City and uh, West Bromwich Albion, various clubs, um, and then he went back to Hungary, I believe. And then uh, his last club was in Greece. Um, he had the tumour removed from his arm, I believe, in 2013. Um, and was still training while you know he was getting treatment, so which was great. Um, but unfortunately, Mother Nature takes its course, and uh, obviously, the, you know, it wasn't enough. And so obviously, it must have spread, and you know, great loss. And what sort of a footballer was he at Sunderland Football Club? Oh, he was an excellent, goal, excellent goalkeeper. Um, you know, a great shot stopper, um, good talker, um, but just. Uh, Great personality to be around the place as well, you know. Not, you know, you you get some footballers who uh, come in and the train and the straight out. You know, you see he was around and you know he conversed with the younger players in the squad and and in the club and was just a brilliant role model for them.